What's happening, everybody? Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. Man, I was working, man, and came across an issue, so I just thought I want to share it with some of you guys in case you come across this same issue. Um, you won't have a problem. Um, first, I'd like to start off by thanking everybody who subscribed since the last time I dropped a video. I appreciate you guys, man. Um, this is going to be a short and quick one, man, but it's a definitely a helpful fix. It took me like hours of hours to figure this out finally, and I finally figured it out. All right. I had this character here, which is a beautiful character. I made her into an enemy in, in the project. I'm going to eventually make her into a selectable uh, character and then make the weapons, uh, weapons that can be picked up by anybody. But of course, she will be the best at using them. Um, and what happened was, and it's a very beautiful character, by the way. Um, I ended up putting the character in the game. The character is modular, so she can be customized. There's different versions, one with the flute, one with uh, the bow and arrow, um, another one with, with just some other weapons, okay? So the first one I wanted, obviously, the bow and arrow. That's who I picked. She plays a harp, and then she can... Uh, uh, she has arrows that she just substitutes as a bow and arrow set, you know, this as a bow as well as a harp. So it's a really cool concept. Love the characters, man. Great. The characters are modular. They use skeletons that have uh, cloth physics. So the bow, no. The bow is all good. Um, the quiver is all good because these are hard pieces. But then when you go to the skirt and the hair, and then there's one also called leaves, at which I still took off because even when I did this on leaves, it still for some reason wasn't working right. So we'll figure that one out in a minute, I guess. But what I wanted to show you is that what was happening or tell you guys is what was happening is that every time I would put this character in the project and start playing, it would run around for a minute. And then all of a sudden my whole engine would just crash out and close and, you know, give me this error every single time it was giving me the same error. Basically, I was having problems with physics. OK, and so I'm like, dude, what the heck? So what I did was I stripped the character all the way down and I just played with just the body of the character with nothing else because he has a couple different mesh selections and the characters ran fine as long as I didn't put any of these uh, items on it, like the hair or the, the skirt or any of that. As long as those things weren't on it, the character ran fine. Well, come to find out this has to do with the cloth uh, simulation. All right. So I wanted to go ahead and share this with you guys so that you wouldn't run into the same problem um, because basically when I built my actual game out and tried to play it, uh, it would let me through the menu. Everything was fine. As soon as I got onto the actual board to play, it would just crash out and say fatal. It would be a little white box that said fatal and then my game would just turn off. All right. All of this was the same problem. Ended up, guys, that when you're using cloth simulation now, uh, in Unreal Engine 5, they have something over here called Clothing Simulation Factory, all right? What you want to do is go to any item that uses clothing simulation, like hair or the skirt, and you want to change this because the original, this is the default. The default normally says Clothing Simulation Factory, and then it says Clothing Simulation Factory in V. All right. And that's fine for these like these static. I mean, these skeletal meshes that are just, you know, they don't have any any um, cloth physics to them. But the hair and the skirt have cloth physics. So what you're going to want to do is go to every single item that uses cloth simulated physics like this hair. And you want to just click this drop down and you will see that there's one that says chaos clothing simulation factory. All right. You want to make sure that this is on on every single item that you have that uses cloth simulated physics. Otherwise, you're going to have a serious problem and you're going to have a lot of issues. So those are set up right. That's why I haven't been getting errors all this time until I got this character, um, which was created uh, for UE4, I guess, 426 all the way up to 5.2 or 427 to 5.2. So obviously in 4.27, they don't have this implemented by default so they probably built this character in 4.27 and didn't realize that this type of issue would occur all right so that's just one for you guys man if you're having that issue just make sure that you always go in change everything that uses uh, cloth simulated physics to chaos clothing simulation factory all right
that's it for me for this one guys amp capo black adonis games man like subscribe tell a friend man and good luck on all your projects Thank <music> you.